breath smells like shit. Good morning. Good morning. Wanna go outside? Let's go. Go potty. Go potty. Oh boy. Ew. How is my hair still wet? I have a confession to make. I stole this robe from the Amen Hotel in Tokyo, but it was so cozy. Like, it feels like a blanket. I saw that and I was like, you're coming home with me. It's 8 a.m. You guys are gonna be spending a morning with me. I do this like Monday through Friday. I committed to a schedule, so I gotta do it. I don't like how I look today. I feel puffy and ugly, but I committed to a schedule, so. I caught a spider last night, a really, really, really big spider. It's like this big. I left it in my kitchen because I didn't want to touch it. I don't know what to do. And it's still there. Paris ripped off its leg last night and I feel really bad. I didn't want to release it because I don't want it to come back and it's definitely going to hold a grudge because of the whole leg thing. But I don't want to smush it. I don't want to flush it. I don't want to, I don't know what to do. Have you got, oh, oh, hello. Have you guys seen that TikTok where talking about like a rat or a mouse or a spider, it's like talking in heaven and it's like, I'm sorry, human. Like, I'm sorry for scaring you. My only crime was that I was too small. <laughs> so I don't want to kill it. I don't know what to do. I'll probably keep it as a pet. Come here. Good morning. Everybody say good morning, Paris. Oh, you smell like shit. No, you, know you want some juice? Let's make some juice. Juice, juice, juice. I'm double filming like a pro. Okay, first, celery. This is my green juice smoothie that I've been doing for months. This detoxes you and it's just good for you. Lemon. Some spinach. Ginger. And then you can put the whole thing in. I love a lot of ginger. Coconut water. And then I usually put parsley in, but I ran out, so apple. I keep forgetting to buy new cheesecloths because mine got moldy, so I had to throw them away. So I've been using this shirt out of my closet. So if that's gross, I'm sorry, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I require my juice. Okay, it's definitely gross, but like I've washed the shirt and I've rinsed it. So like there's no detergent on it. There's nothing that's like too crazy gross. Four things that helped me get super, super healthy when I was sober for 10 weeks a couple weeks ago and lose some weight. Number one, fresh made green juice that I make, hot lemon water, dandelion root tea. And then I would usually have kind of like a bone broth at some time in the morning, but I kind of don't want to today. So I'm just gonna do these three. But normally I'll add a bone broth. The holy trinity.
very, very big stretch. Good job. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I will journal like what I have to do for the day and write down my intentions and set some goals and make sure what I'm doing today and every day is always aligning. And then sometimes I'll have crystals, but I don't know where they are. I think my cleaners moved them. And I'll do some witchcraft, I mean meditating with those. And then I take the dogs for a walk. Wanna go for a walk? Help me, I'm bored. My ADD is so bad, I have to literally write down step by step everything and I have to physically write it down. Otherwise on my phone, I'll just forget it. I'll get lost in an app. Take out trash, hot girl walk with doggies work out i have to do some other stuff for this weekend but you can't know so i went to edc this past weekend in vegas ignore this that's from edc and my skin is definitely having a little moment because i fell asleep in my makeup like an idiot i never do that anymore but what happens in vegas happens in vegas so i chopped up this video you guys get to see a behind the scenes perspective i made this original video years ago so i recreated this old one this was the original one i made for my birthday two years ago So I tried to recreate it because we were like in the same situation, but I can't tell if it's lame. I kind of like it, but it's like chaos. I feel like it makes me look like an alcoholic, but I'm not, I swear. I was just sober for 10 weeks, but who cares? It's Vegas, right? I'll probably post it. Go check it out on my TikTok. All right, I changed. I'm in workout clothes. Um, gonna wash my face. So normally I'll go to the gym. Um, I'll do like a 40 minute walk and then I'll do like my own little workouts and then I'll have like a Pilates class. But today I am not doing Pilates because I have an appointment so I don't have time. A lot of you didn't like my makeup in my first video. A lot of you think I look um, too skinny, too sunken in, um, scary, Jeffree Star. My response to all that is thank you. So you think I'm skinny? Oh, some of the comments on my last video have been quite entertaining, not gonna lie. People, mostly men, obviously I don't like my bleached brows could you imagine if i was living my life for other people specifically middle-aged men it's like when i stopped entertaining the male gaze and just started wanting to do like what i wanted to do and i'm happy people are like oh she's losing it it's like no dude it's like i like this look for me why the hell would i listen to anybody else other than me and like my mom for their opinions on like how I should look. SPF, because I'm gonna be out. Also other people commenting like, oh my God, she doesn't look how she used to. She looks so different. It's like, thank God for that mate. I was like 20 years old and I had baby fat in my face. Okay, I always put it here, the rest of the sunscreen. Hold on. <laughs> Protect mommy! Protect us, you're the man of the house. You, it's so crazy how you can see the effects of like sleeping in your makeup days later. The best um, lip gloss, chapstick, I can't focus. Paris, it smells like cotton candy, Clar Clarins. Are we on a walkie? Are we on a walkie talkie? A little walkie talkie talkie walkie. Pickle loves his walks, yeah. Pickle loves his walks. A little walkie talkie, a little walkie. Oh, 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 he's painting. He's painting. This is how Paris pees because he's a crippled little boy. He likes to paint. 
We call him Picasso. Good job, Picasso. You're so talented. My little painter. My lovely little ladybug. Oh, okay, you can say hi. You have poop on your butt, ew. So I like to go on that walk with my empty stomach on just those four beverages. So it gives like, you know, the green juice and everything, just some extra time to kind of like sink in and like jumpstart your metabolism. And it really just soaks up everything. And then now before the gym, I'll have my little coffee and my little yogurt just to give me some energy for a little workout. I do cinnamon and sugar-free vanilla. I'm so tired today. I love cinnamon. I'll add some granola. And that's like my breakfasty pre-workout energy giving cocktail. Because you can't work out on an empty stomach. You can, but since I have all this stuff to do after, I don't really want to die. I don't feel like dying today, so. And since we're on the go, I always take my coffee with me, but I always used to just put a straw in here and take it, but it would spill everywhere and that sucked. So I ordered these on Amazon. I have these in like every color and they're a lifesaver. Do you guys remember one of my first videos? I spilled coffee everywhere. Well, now I found a solution. I'm innovative like that. No spill. Okay. I always make um, mint lemon tea or water. Why did I say tea? Water um, for the sauna because it's really hot in there. I try to drink a whole one of these in the morning before the afternoon and water's so effing boring to me so i just add mint and lemon to it to make it more fun it's a party in the sauna i'm sorry if i'm low energy i feel like i have to be chaotic and crazy all the time but i'm just super zenned out i think i've grown up my driving glasses only a fox baby Vlogging in public is so fucking embarrassing. I can't believe I used to do this every day. Like just from me opening the sunroof and like dancing, I'm seriously having like anxiety and panic. Maybe this will be good. Maybe this will bring me like out of my shell more. Get back in touch with my fun side. Maybe I've been boring. Chris Hemsworth. Mmm. So these glasses, I got them because I can't see. I'm literally blind. And I spent a fortune on them because of course I had to go with Prada. But then I think I squinted in the eye exam because when I wear them, shit, fuck. I need to get a car thing. When I wear them, it's way, I feel drunk. Like I'm drunk driving right now. That's how I feel. Oh my God, that's gonna get clipped and I'm gonna get canceled. Great, great. Second day back on YouTube and I'm canceled, great. But I seriously, like every time, and I need them to drive, I can't see, I can't read certain things, but it gives me such a crazy headache that by the time I get to my destination, I'm over it. Ow. Hello. I think my biggest fear would be like someone walking in right now. I wear sunglasses and the gym because I think eye contact is way too intimate and I don't think people deserve to see my bare naked eyes. Like, buy me dinner first. Like I feel like somebody could see directly into my soul when they see my bare naked eyes. It's like, I don't want you to see my soul. That's for me and my dogs. Dude, walking on that treadmill for like 
40 minutes and just filming that little clip of me being like triggered anxiety and like filming in public and I can't I'm like that's not me I can't do it I don't know how I did that before maybe I was just younger and I didn't care but like I just don't think it's for me anymore maybe I'll pull like an Emma Chamberlain and start just filming in my house alone I might scrap this whole vlog, I'm not kidding. Like that's how serious I am and that's why I've never put out content for the last couple years because every time I'll go to film something, I hate it. Or like I have anxiety and then I delete it. I'm hiding in the bathroom. Does anyone else feel this way? I feel like everyone's judging me. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, filming in the gym did trigger some like public embarrassment, like anxiety and like shit that I haven't felt in a while that I thought I got over. But I guess whipping out like a vlog camera kind of brought it all back. But I don't know why, it's just like, I feel like everybody now is a vlogger or a content creator since the pandemic. Like I feel like everybody has a camera, everybody's filming their lives and everyone's like, you know, doing what I was doing back then. And like, I feel like the market's so oversaturated with people filming their lives, going to the gym, doing all this stuff. So it's like, why the hell would anybody care about what I'm doing when there's like hundreds of other thousands of people doing the same shit? Like I've never called myself an influencer. When that term was being like thrown around like 2016, 2017, I never liked it. I never called myself that. I was just like an entertainer, a comedic relief for people. Like I made videos to entertain people. I'm not trying to influence anyone. And if I do, then it's like, the only thing I want to be doing is spreading joy and positivity. And I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I don't know how this just turned from me working out and then getting anxiety triggered from filming in the gym. Anyway, I'm at my appointment. Freshly saunaed, worked out. I feel great. Aside from the crippling anxiety. I feel like all this anxiety really started when all these other influencers came to light. Like the TikTok era popped off in 2020 in the pandemic and then all these new content creators came and like th that was the whole new wave with all these people. And then now I'm like getting back into the flow of things. But the way I know how to do it and I feel like it's boring. I don't know.